Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. We are going into chapter 11. Things are really starting to pick up again. So, yeah. There's going to be something really important, I believe, in this episode. Part 1. White Clouds. Pegasus Moon. Throne of Knowledge. So you just wait for that. The northern lands are enveloped in a bitter cold, and frigid winds are carried across the sea to the south of Adrestia. When feather white snow falls on Fodlin's locket, the fort looks as delicate as a pearl. However, beneath that snowy blanket, her throat is more treacherous than ever. Once you've reached professor level C. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm already at A. <laughs> Even our little Byleth has his new do now. Rhea, please talk to me. What are you hiding? What is the meaning of how that one looks? It is almost as though... As I said, there is nothing of which to speak. For now. At the end of this month... Yeah... I know, me and Rhea have the same color hair now. I read Gerald's diary. I happened upon it in his room. <laughs> what? <laughs> In it, he stated the reason for his departure. The baby, thought to have died in the fire, has returned to us. Gerald realized that you had done something to the child and decided to flee. What did you do to that baby, Rhea? Nothing questionable, I should hope. Set us enough. They will be here shortly. No more, I beg of you. I wonder why she won't tell him. I will take our dear professor to the holy tomb. There. I should be able to see our dearest wishes to fruition. Oh boy. When I was young, I heard her voice there. I'm sure of it. You may enter. I have been awaiting your arrival, Professor. Now that you have received sacred power from the Goddess, there is somewhere you must pay a visit to at once. You must go to the Holy Tomb, so that you may receive a divine revelation from the Goddess. A revelation? The Holy Tomb is where the Goddess sleeps. This monastery was originally built for the purpose of protecting that hallowed temple. Only a select few know of it, but there is a legend about Seros and the Holy Tomb. Saint Seros, the first soul to be gifted power from the Goddess, received her revelation there. She was told that it was her sacred duty to save the people of Fodlin, and that she must use her power wisely in order to lead them. The words that were handed down to Seros from the Goddess will likely fall upon your ears as well. Prepare yourself to go at once. There may you find out why you were blessed with such power. There will be a ceremony at the Holy Tomb, it is then that you will receive the Goddess's revelation. You may share this mission with your students. A mission? Now? It is said that when Seros received the revelation, she had holy warriors by her side protecting her. Your students, who have followed you and fought alongside you through the darkest of times, are well suited to stand by you for the ceremony. Of course, as the leader of the Church of Seros, I will be by your side as well. Strange. The occasion is too significant to be missed. Even if something were to happen, I am more than capable of protecting myself. You know? I'm trying to remember... Yeah, interesting. We didn't get the paralogue that involved Rhea, 
We actually got to see Rhea fight in the paralogue. Um, we were defending her while she was in the center. Um, I think that was between her and Gilbert. And maybe it's because we're not going to be getting Gilbert this run that we didn't get that, or... Hmm, I don't know, actually. Much has changed, but your duty has not wavered. Steal your mind for the ceremony and prepare your students well. Hilda's birthday. We'll just give her flowers. We will get to know Hilda a lot more in our next run. Sorry, guys. But yeah, we can't recruit her, so I don't really see that much of a point to host a tea party. Other than the possibility of a charm up, but... Hanneman? You oh, like my room works better for me, but I am willing to compromise for today. That's a guess, guys. I don't Thank actually you. know what tea he likes. <laughs> don't take me saying that as, oh yeah, that is his favorite. That's what I, I like should use in my run. Because yeah, clearly not his favorite. Indeed. Nope. Indeed. School days? Indeed. Indeed. Books you've read recently. Okay. We didn't destroy his birthday, so... Thank you for a wonderful time. As professor. much as I can ask. By fusing with Sothis and awakening the progenitor god's power, Byleth obtained the certification for the Enlightened One class. Oh yeah. It's time to start anew. And now we can use magic. Just really quickly, I want to see... Okay, he didn't quite master what the advanced class that he was in. How close are you to advancing that? Pretty far, honestly. 112, huh? I'm just gonna let uh, Byleth be the Enlightened One, and then once the Enlightened One is maxed out, then I might put him back into like Swordmaster or something. But I'm gonna let him be the Enlightened One for a while. Um, he can wield magic, which is cool. So yeah, terrain resistance and sword fare. Cool. Okay, let's do a quick save onto a new line. And let's go through some supports. Gaspar, good to see you. You're looking a bit bigger lately. Yeah, Raphael, that's one way to put it. Is something wrong? I thought you wanted to get bigger. Have you been training? I haven't missed a day. The problem is that my body doesn't want to grow in the directions I want it to. <laughs> I was hoping to get a little taller, but I seem to just be growing wider. <laughs> I don't think your methods are for me. Oh, that's too bad. I always thought the secret to getting bigger was lots of eating and training. You know what? You shouldn't worry so much about how big or tall you are. You're great, no matter what size. Good guy, Raphael. What makes you say that? Well, let's see. You can run faster than me, and you're really agile, which I'll never be. Are you kidding? That's just about your legs, though. Your other movements are quick, too. You can dodge good and swing a sword pretty fast. Oh, and you're... Nobody can say you're not fast, Raphael. You're quadding everybody to death with training fists, dude. All right, Raphael. I think I see the problem now. I thought I envied the size of your body, but I was wrong. After hearing you say those nice things about me, I realized that I actually envy the size of your heart. Huh? <laughs> I think it's normal size, but... <laughs> That's right! I don't just need a bigger body, I need a bigger heart! Once I have a bigger heart, then maybe, just maybe, my body will start growing too. That's not how it yeah, works, Caspar. Maybe. Now how do I increase the size of my heart? It didn't help with my body, but do you think eating will make my heart grow? I have no idea. 
but I'm always up for a meal. I really don't want to get any wider, though. I'm so conflicted. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. It's like you always say, when in doubt, go to the dining hall. That's a sentiment I can get behind. When in doubt, go to the dining hall. All right. Uh, this theory just isn't coming together. The thought behind it is sound enough, but... Hmm. Hey, Lysithia. Your forehead's all wrinkled. You look tense. Is something wrong? You know you can tell your big bro rat... Uh, I mean, <laughs> you know you can tell me anything, right? Oh, he sees her as a little sister. She's gonna hate that, I bet. <laughs> Raphael, while I appreciate your offer, I'm not so sure you'll be much help here. What does that mean? Oh, are you researching something complicated? In that case, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> at least you know your Is limits. Is there something else I can help you with? I'm really good at other things. Like training. <laughs> I have absolutely zero interest in such things. I have an idea. Do you want to get real good at playing tag? I can teach you. I think There's that's a trick no. to it that most people don't know. Like to not get tagged and stuff. Let me show you. It's too sunny to spend all day inside studying. Come on, Big Bro's gonna take you outside. Uh, shut sad. up, shut up, shut up! Oh, God. Can't you see I'm busy? Go bother someone else. I, I liked that outside. Let's hear that one more time. It's too sunny to spend all day inside studying. Come on, Big Bro's gonna take you outside. Outside. I like that. <laughs> what nerve you have too calling yourself Big Bro. Like I'm your little sister or some nonsense. Just cut the act. Uh, did I really say that out loud? Anyway, my grades are miles better than yours. If you want to play the part of Big Brother, you probably benefit from studying way, way more. Damn, called out. Like I said, I'm really good at other things. Just not classroom learning. I can't stand all the excuses. Clearly, you're the little kid here. You got all that? Now, don't bother me again. Understood? Bye. Aww. I kind of feel bad for Raphael right now. <sighs> she must be going through a rebellious phase. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, teenagers, right? Am I right? Lysithia and Leone? Like, we actually have a lot of the golden deer, don't we? <laughs> <sighs> I, I think I'm going to pass out. Oh, Lysithia? You're really pale. Yeah, I've been feeling really queasy all morning. I'm just heading back to my quarters to rest. Can you even make it there in that state? Here, climb on my back. I'll carry you. I wonder if this is because she's dying. Like, because she's sick. What? What? No. No. I'm not some sort of... infant. Always worried about looking like a kid. No time for that now. Just get on. <sighs> I'm feeling a bit better now. I should be okay from here. Thank you so much, Leone. I hope I wasn't too heavy. Was I? <laughs> no, not at all. It actually made for a fun bit of training. Uh, training? Yeah. Carrying someone around is good for the legs. You're just the right weight for it, too. I might ask you to help me train again sometime. Anything can be a kind of training with the right attitude, you know? Are you always thinking about training? Well, I can't devote all my time purely to training. So it's more efficient if I can train while I get other stuff done at the same time. Wouldn't that actually be rather inefficient? Huh? What do you mean? Well, for example, if you're training for endurance, it seems running would be a better approach. If you're only ever training by cramming it in with other tasks, you won't be getting the best results. I'm no expert on the subject, but even I can logic that one out. Come to think of it, you do always seem to stick to a pretty rigid schedule, don't you? I've noticed that you focus completely on whatever it is you've set out to do. Then you switch to something else and focus completely on that. You've noticed, have you? Now that I think about it, you may be right. 
Maybe that is the more efficient way to do things. Hey, you're really bright, Lysithia. Thanks so much for the helpful advice. That was sweet of Leonie to check on me and carry me all the way to my quarters. And in the end, I just lectured her. She did thank me for it, but uh, I probably could have handled that better. Hey, recognize it gets the first step, I suppose. Okay. Shouldn't have to do any certifications. So I think we're just gonna explore. I can't hear Sothis's voice anymore. Oh, It hurts. You look so different. You're still our professor in there, right? Did anything else change besides your hair and eyes? Are your arms bigger? How do your abs look? Oh, I've changed quite a bit, Raphael. Really? You gotta teach me how to do that! <laughs> okay... You don't think I have anything for you. month the whole month even leaving my room for dinner is just too much it's got nothing to do with your um changes <laughs> so um don't open the door please are you scared of me now i've been looking for this thank you so much yeah i think that's it for you So, this month's mission is to take part in a ritual at the Holy Tomb, where you will receive a revelation from the goddess herself. What if she really appears? What if I finally get to gaze upon her radiance? I've always imagined the goddess, how beautiful she must be. Hmm. Daydreams about the goddess, is this you then? Oh, oh my fun. god! <laughs> Thank you so much, I've been looking everywhere. Huh, no kidding. Okay. You're not Some the fables, right? Some I think this is... Um... Yeah, I don't know, actually. <laughs> yeah, you're not high class. You are from a merchant family. This is probably Gilbert. Okay, some vegetables. In fact, I think I need some more vegetables. Huh? I can't even imagine what it must be like inside the holy tomb. I don't know either. Well, it's probably a grave, that much is for sure, and it's likely underground. Beyond that, who knows? I can't help but wonder, though, just what kind of ritual is this? Huh? I'm really fra- Rather interested. He's closer than I expected he would be. Okay. There's nobody upstairs in the dorms. So no reason to go and check up there. Hey. Hi there. Oh, you know what? I didn't check if there was any good fishing stuff this month. Lots of large fish. Okay, we might not be doing fishing this month either. 
So we'll be doing Land of the Golden Deer and Rare Monster Sighting this next week. Professor, and Bridget, we have legends. Stories containing people who have a spirit living inside of them. Those spirit people have much strength. They are maybe able to fly in the air or race across the ocean. Hair that shines and eyes that glow. They have qualities that are not unlike what you are looking like, Professor. Yeah, but I can't fly. Actually, yeah. <laughs> are you knowing that for certain? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Maybe you will have wings grow and soar through the sky. Maybe. I mean, that would be something, wouldn't it? This is... This... This is... This is... This is... This... This... How you doing this month, gatekeeper? Oh. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Although, I suppose, you are something to report. For a moment, I thought you were someone suspicious. Lucky for you, I am quite perceptive. Yeah, you are. It took only that single moment for me to recognize you. <laughs> the Professor went out and got some new power. I like you, good sir. Hello there. This one, yes? I think this one, yes. 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 I think return soon, please. Hello there. You know what? I need smithing stones this one, too. Yes. I think return soon, please. All the things. You there! I recently had an errand to run, and so I had to pass by the office. I didn't mean to, but I overheard Lady Rhea and Sedith arguing. Actually, it was more like Sedith was interrogating Lady Rhea. It's none of your business, good sir. People who live an inordinately long time, people whose hair changes color, and those odd heroes' relics. <laughs> is Fodlan some mystical land full of inhuman creatures? Apparently it is. Is the world different outside Fodlan? You should see for yourself. I'd recommend exploring west of the Empire. Okay. Let's see. I think I do have something for you. You're That's not the not first scarf, right? Animal Thanks. bone dice. How did you know this was mine? It's hey there. Those students of yours will soon graduate and become unreachable royalty and nobility. You should show them respect now, or you might find yourself out of a job someday. <laughs> no. One look at your students' faces, and it's apparent that would never happen. Even when your kids graduate, I bet they'll still think fondly of you. You'll always be professor to them. That's right. Professor? Is this the one? Is this the important talk? Okay, so I ended up reloading. Apparently when you talk to her and view this next scene, um, it does end the explore session after the scene is done. So I do want to continue on doing the exploring here, and then as soon as I am done with exploring, we'll go and talk to her again and view the scene. What I'm going to do is I'm going to splice in my first impressions of the scene the first time I watched it. That way you're all seeing how I reacted to it the first time I saw it. Uh, but anyways, let's continue on. Um, I accidentally, when I reloaded, realized that my mic wasn't on, and I came and talked to these two. That's why they don't have uh, speech bubbles. You've but let's been talk to them again. You've been granted this power by the goddess herself. 
Truly, you must be a very special individual. Maybe Saros transformed before receiving her revelation too. Hmm. I haven't heard anything about that before. Maybe that part never found its way into the legend? It is told that Saros had a revelation, instructing her to use her power for good and to lead the people of Fodlin to salvation. I wonder what sort of revelation you might have, Professor. Okay. Which one of the two of you am I talking to right now? Um, I don't actually know. Did you... Did you... Did you... Who's the Tooth Dagger for? Did you... Did you... You've been... Maybe... Maybe it is... I won... You. You've been maybe Sarah. Hmm. It is told I won. No. Okay. Let's keep moving on. A wax dipti diptych that has been thoroughly used. It probably belongs to someone who is zealous about studying. I can't remember who was here. It's not you, is it? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think it is, but maybe it could it be. A wax diptych. Did you find No. Other people who are zealous about studying would be Linhart and Lysithia. Anybody else? Professor. Now I think Petra and Ferdinand were here last time. Uh, dictionary of a foreign language. Yep, that's Petra. And someone who collects weapons. Yep, that's going to be Ferdinand. Great. Grounding charm. Prevent lightning from striking nearby. It probably belongs to someone who is afraid of lightning. Hmm, I don't know who that one is. You're so strong now. I'm starting to understand why you were appointed professor. I thought I was stronger, but I still have such a long way to go. I'll help you get there. You'd better not go easy on me. I need your training to be strict if I'm gonna get any better. Alright. Tooth Dagger might What's be this? Felix. What's this? What's this? What's that? Yeah. Oh, it was just you. Okay, you were standing right by your missing item, buddy. <laughs> You're afraid of lightning? Okay. I don't judge. Much. <laughs> okay, no items over here this month. Sometimes, I find myself thinking I should leave Garrick Mark and return to my home, where I should have been all alone. What, are you going to do that now because your daughter's here? You jerk. <laughs> I won't stop you. I hear you. that Lady Rhea will accompany you for this month's task. She's the pillar that supports the hearts of Fodlin's people. Her safety is paramount. I hope there are no complications. I wonder if this mission will be the same this month. I think it might be very close to the same, but it'll probably be slightly different. Ah, thank you for bringing me this. 
Okay, I think that's the only thing I have for no. you. Old fishing rod. No, that does not no? belong to me. I suggest you speak to others. Okay. A fisher who doesn't care how much they catch. Okay, that's probably Aloise then. <laughs> <sighs> Monica. No, Pranya. Pranya is dead. And so is Solon, by your hand. Taking vengeance with your own hand. I'm sure Gerald would be proud. What? When you changed, even the other professors were taken completely by surprise. There's a ritual at the Holy Tomb this month, isn't there? I wonder what'll happen with that. I'm sure you'll be alright. But don't lose sight of who you really are, okay? However you may change, and whatever new power goes along with those changes, you'll still be the same person deep down. Remember that. Thanks, Leone. I think the first scarf is yours. Oh, that's mine! Thanks so much for finding it. Um... Tooth dagger? Someone... No? Someone... Weathered cloak. That one's for... Catherine, I believe. I still Someone... don't remember who the spotless bandage goes to. In our battle last month, we really cut the enemy down to size. But there are other enemies we have yet to hunt down. Not least the Flame Emperor. Once we've crushed them all, we can return to our peaceful lives at the monastery. It will happen soon. I have a feeling something big is coming. Oh! Yep, you can't be recruited this run. Huh. No, that's Ferdinand. Accessory case embroidered with a cute hedgehog. Belongs to a female noble. I think that's Bernie, right? Hmm. Whoa, when I first saw you, Professor, with that hair color and that eye color, I thought you looked kind of like Lady Rhea. Like maybe you could be related. I like the way it looks. I wonder if I could change my hair color too. Maybe if I tried hard enough. If I thought real hard about it, I mean. I think that'll work. That would be exciting, wouldn't it? All I need to do is get <laughs> trapped up in a strange place and then escape, right? Just like you did. Your logic is undeniable. That's right, Bernie Bernie's was here. Bernie because she was bringing flowers to uh, to Gerald's grave. Oh, Professor! Oh, I'm sorry. That was rude. I didn't recognize you for a second. Isn't it weird? No, not at all. <laughs> I'm just not used to it. It really suits you, though. What's up, Professor? See hey, how you feel. I got a girl waiting. Rather interested. Charm and reason. Oh, Professor! Yeah, I bet you if we got to rank up with him, he'd probably be right on the verge of being recruitable. Um. 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 Um, um. Um, indeed. How are you, Professor? Did Hanneman make his I will do no harm speech or promise this won't hurt a bit when he asked to study you? Both? I have a bit of research I'd like to perform. Nothing so crass as Hanneman's poking, prodding, and drawing of blood. No, I wish to investigate crest power itself. 
Crest power must have some kind of limit, right? Lady Rhea says any limits must be the protection of the goddess, but that doesn't quite answer it for me. Hmm. Okay, I don't know if I have anything for you. It's not my... It's not mine. Okay, that one's not for you. That's not. That's not. Unopened bottle. New bottle of perfume. Belongs to someone who doesn't often wear perfume. Um, Ingrid? Is that one for Ingrid? Long ago, Saint Seros was gifted with a divine revelation from the goddess as well as incredible power. Is that what happened to you too, Professor? No way! The Professor transformed before receiving any kind of divine revelation, right? Still, I wonder, does the fact that you've changed really mean you've been granted some kind of power? If that's the case, then what sort of revelation can be gained from the ritual? I'm guessing the revelation will just be a gentle reminder to use this new power to save the people of Fodlin. What else is there to say? You don't actually believe we're going to hear the voice of the goddess, do you? I already have, so, I mean... Oh, Professor, excuse me. Okay, you're not close. <laughs> Long ago, yeah, writing is definitely going to no, hold us back on you. That, I'm... You don't... Long ago, it... If that I'm you don't have Oh, that's weird. I don't know why I didn't do that last time. Um What's this? What's this? What's What's this? I'm guess you don't have a fine white silk handkerchief. It probably belongs to a noble who cares about their personal grooming. Um, this is where um Lorenz was, right? I don't know why his name always, like, leaves my mind. Your hair! And your eyes! What happened to you? Lysithia, you were there. You didn't lose something as a consequence of gaining these powers, did you? This takes on more meaning. You didn't lose something as a consequence of gaining these powers. And that has, like, new meaning now knowing that she lost basically a big portion of her life, supposedly, because she was given an, a second crest. Don't worry, I'm fine. I see. Well, that makes me feel better. But still, be careful. Thanks, Lysithia. What? 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 Oh, that was for you. Cool. What? What? The History of Srang, a book recording the history of the Srang people. It probably belongs to someone who has ties to Srang. Is this Blue Lion's house? Yes, it is. Ties to Srang. I don't remember who that is. Sorry? Edelgard and Hubert have been busier than usual. Constantly coming and going, in and out of Garrick Mach? Perhaps they are doing something in the Empire. As the legitimate heir of the Iyer family, I have not heard anything about it. Hmm. <laughs> But if it were significant, I'm not gonna say I'm it. I'm sure about my to say. father would have told me. You'll see once you get to see the scene with Edie. Oh, I was looking for this. 
thank you so much. How could... How could... How could you... Professor, please, if he hears it from you that he needs to rest, perhaps his highness will listen. He's exaggerating. He thinks my color is off and that rest will cure all. I have a headache, but that's just from lack of sleep. It's not going to stop me from completing this month's mission. You should rest. The professor agrees. Please rest, at least until the task is at hand. Daedu is always right. Even if I tried, it's not Bottom like I line. would get any decent sleep. It would only be a waste of time. Hurry up and cage the wild boar. Look, he's losing his grip. Even in his swordplay, he's getting sloppy. If he keeps progressing like this, he's going to get himself killed. I wonder if this is confusing for people who haven't been playing the Blue Lion's route. Um, I think there was maybe one other, like cue from Felix about the boar prince um, earlier on in an exploring session but um, I wonder if people heard this and are like the boar like what's the deal with him and Dimitri yeah there's a whole backstory going on with all of that interesting it's it's fun to kind of look at the other side and be like oh so like people who did black eagles first had no clue about any of that any of Dimitri's like hidden darkness that we got clues of fairly early on in the Blue Lions route. It's pretty cool. Tranya, Solon, they're dead, but we still have a glut of enemies. We still have to take down the Death Knight and the Flame Emperor. Our next battle is fast approaching. I'm ready for it. If any of you started with another house, let me know kind of if, uh, if, if it gave you enough clues to see, see any of that. That's mine. Yep. Thank Thought you for that finding. Was yours. Okay, I don't think anything else is though. I know nothing about history of Srang. Most likely somebody in the Blue Lions. Say, in town earlier, there seemed to be more people around than usual. Is there some festival this month that I'm forgetting about? A magic tournament. An advanced seal again? Gosh, I don't want any advanced seals. Come on. <laughs> Waste my time. How dare you. And a thing to worry about. You have been gifted the power of the goddess. Furthermore, you have overcome the death of your father, Geralt, and you have destroyed countless of our wicked foes. It's only been like a month since Geralt died. I'm, I wouldn't quite say that I've overcome it. <laughs> I am proud, so very proud of who you have become. Thank you. <laughs> Once we finish the ritual at the Holy Mausoleum, all will be well. Oh, no it won't. No it won't, Rhea. I have the power of foresight. Take it from me. Hmm. Ah, it is you. I am sorry, but I have a lot on my mind. I would prefer to be alone right now. I'm sorry to I'm sorry I'm sorry to I'm so 
Yes, this is mine. Oh. Thank you for returning it. The old fishing rod is yours. Okay. Let's see, this isn't open yet, right? Yeah, I think this opens up in the second half of the game. But it doesn't tell you that it opens up, and I think that I went like one or two months without realizing you could go upstairs into a new area. Well... Yeah, it's uh... the grayed out area down there in the bottom right of the map. How's it going, Flame? Oh, Professor, I am so happy. Your new hair and eye color suit you well. We make quite the pair. But recently, I sense that things are a bit strange between Lady Rhea and my brother. She wants to do something at the Holy Tomb. I do not know what, but... Hmm. Whenever it has concluded, I hope they will return to their friendship, as it has always been. Hmm. Oh, that is mine. Yep. Okay. Thank you so that very makes much. Sense. Book of Fables. Hmm. 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 Uh, Captain. Oh, Professor, how long have you been standing there? I didn't see you. I was just sorting through Captain Gerald's belongings. I haven't made much progress. I keep finding things that bring back memories. Clearing out this room of his belongings again, it's... It's not easy. Oh, we can recruit him now. This is mine. <laughs> I thought it had vanished. Thanks. I owe you. You'll never be good at magic, Eloise. I'm sorry. Anything else for him? I don't think so. Hmm. I thought he would be the one for the uh, fishing pole. Hmm. Okay, let's recruit. Clearing up. Oh, Professor. I will do whatever I can to serve you. Excellent. Leave it to me. No matter how small the task is, I vowed to Gerald I would help you. Welcome to the group. Now I'll never use you. Sorry. Um, I should check Sedith. Is he recruitable? While we're at it, Rhea, join me. Everyone, join me. Hmm. Ah, I am sorry. No. Yeah, I don't think he's recruitable in this run. Okay, no item. Professor, are you positive? Really? Your appearance is due to the influence of the Crest of Flames? Intriguing. Unfortunately, I have found no record of Nemesis's hair and eye color ever changing. However, if that transformation was brought on in part by the power of the crest, that would be most... Well, I suppose interesting is too small a word. Still, it would be an absolutely exceptional discovery. To know for certain, we must investigate further. So, close off. Slow down, Hanneman. That is the correct answer to that. What? A full physical is in order, yes? We need to know if this transformation affected you adversely. Don't worry, it won't hurt a bit. Boundaries, man. Boundaries. I'm not sure. I'm not... I'm not... Okay, there's people on both sides. Hey, you. Hey. The Holy Tomb, huh? I've worked here for years, and this is the first I've heard of it. I mean, it does make some sense. Sort of. 
something about it is still weird. I understand now why they'd build the monastery in the mountainous center of Fodlan. Although, when the monastery was built, the kingdom and alliance weren't even around yet. But look how cleverly it was placed right in the middle of the empire, kingdom, and alliance. That's weird, right? Professor, I feel as though you've been a bit distant. It's like you're sort of floating above the clouds, separate from other people. And like you've got no interest at all in ever coming back down. How can I help? I'm not being distant, so don't worry. Hey, don't worry. I thought maybe I'd ask and see what you'd say. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're not high class. Well, that that came out wrong. That that came out wrong, Dorothea. You are absolutely high class. What I meant is you're not technically a noble. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I misspoke. <laughs> What's up, Lorenz? I've got a handkerchief that I think belongs to, be honest, to you. I cannot keep up with all that's been happening recently. Monica was actually Kranya. Tomas was actually Solon. Who were these people? What about you, Professor? You were a true ally, yes? That's my intention. Not the most convincing answer you could have given. Still, I simply must take you at your word. Yeah, why would I say it like that? Yeah, most kind. Thank you for bringing this to me. You're welcome. Okay, this needs to go to Bernie. This needs to go to Petra. And those are the only ones that I'm pretty sure on. Me. All things considered, this year has been rather terrible. As far as the students are concerned, next month is the last one of the school year. Next month, we will hold the graduation ceremony, though it'll be an understandably subdued affair. This month, we ask that you carry out your duties as best you can to ensure that our students remain calm. You got it. I want to get better at cooking, but I don't know where to start. I wish I knew someone who could help me. Um, none of them are really cooks, are they? Yeah, I can't, I don't think any of, I don't remember Ash being a cook. I don't remember Flane being a cook or Leonie. That was a weird one. Moon Knight's Tale, that's for Ash. He was here last month. Tales of Chivalry. Ah, professor, oh. sorry. You gave me a shock. Sorry, girl. Your hair and eye color are completely different. You just don't look like yourself anymore. Maybe I am a different person. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> you are still you, right? You are, right? Yes. I am. A lost item. A, lo a lost item. Oh, 
Oh, that was yours. Nice. I mean, we might be able to get you. Magic and faith? We have been working on faith. Oh, no item this month. Let's see, there's one more person around the corner here. No item. I always knew there was something special about you, but you've only gotten more and more extraordinary the longer I've known you. That transformation was just the beginning, wasn't it? I have a feeling that things will only grow more dire from here on out. Yeah, I think you're right. Hey! Well, I'll be. Just gotta make sure there's nothing over here. There usually isn't. Okay. Got a couple of supports we can go and do. I'm also going to do a little bit more training on myself. Are you unfortunate if that still it what? Nice. Thunder. Practice Fantastic. Results. God, one of those rare moments where you actually hear a voice line for Byleth. And sword. And I'll do Sword with Sedith just in case I have enough room to come and do another Faith with Rhea. Hmm. Ah, I am sorry. I need this too, actually. Let's do Authority instead. Why did it put me here? I thought it would put me right in front of my room. Professor. Yes. Oh, shopping took longer than I thought. It's a good thing I had your help, Professor. Looks like we've got everything we came for. Time to head back to the monastery. To tell you the truth, I wasn't sure if the money that night gave us would be enough. We managed to scrape by, though. I'm glad those shopkeepers were willing to strike a few bargains. Thanks to your bartering skills. It's one of the few things I'm really good at. I've got a lot of experience living in the city. Ash is a good guy. Money was tight for me, too. At least until Lenato adopted me into his family. Come to think of it, you were originally a mercenary, weren't you? I'm sure you've traveled all over Fodlin. One of the things that I really liked about the Blue Lions was that you got really good personal connections pretty early on with these characters and really interesting interplay of their politics. Um, not to say there isn't any of that happening here. I think it's really, really interesting um, the way that Edelgard's family and like Ferdinand's family, like there's some tension definitely, but it's not as pronounced uh, the kids aren't talking about it. But in Blue Lions, you've got somebody like Daydu, who is, you know, basically, like, a ton of people are just totally racist against his people. Um, then you've got Felix and Dimitri, where Felix doesn't like Dimitri because Dimitri's done some horrible shit. Then you've got Ash, who, you know, has... Lenato as an adoptive father, and Lenato was a huge part of the story. Then you've got Sylvain, who also has a brother who's a big part of the early story. Like, so many connections. Like, I... It was done really, really well early on for the Blue Lions. And I think that it's a little bit stronger than what we've been getting in the Black Eagles so far. There is some really cool stuff going on with the Black Eagles, but I don't think it's at the same level. And I think it's mostly because the main story missions aren't tied so closely 
to the Black Eagles as they are to the Blue Lions. There are so many connections to the early story missions with the Blue Lions that it, like, made them feel more important. But yeah, really cool stuff. And man, Ash is a good character. That must have been a pretty different life from regular folks like me. Not so different, actually. Huh, you think so? But a mercenary's whole job is fighting, isn't it? Must be a pretty tough way to live. It wasn't so bad. I was a well, killing machine. I guess you must get used to it. That's really incredible, though. Oh. What was the nickname the mercenaries gave me? I can't remember what it was. I had no idea they sold this book around here. I haven't seen this one for ages. What's the book? Lug and the Maiden of Wind. It's a well-known tale of chivalry in Fargus. Lug is the King of Lions. This book is full of his exciting adventures. I've loved this since I was a kid. It was what got me learning to read. Give me that book! Whoa. Hey, creep. Don't touch the merch. What the? Somebody catch that thief. Hey, Cut Anna. him in half like my prices. Please, calm down, ma'am. Anna looks good in this game. You calm down, kid. If he gets away with that valuable merch, it'll be a huge loss for me. Here, allow me to compensate you. Are you sure about that, Ash? Huh? Are you serious, kid? I mean, no objections over here. But that sounds crazy. <laughs> Don't you worry. That thief will be paying me back just as soon as I catch him. Head on back to the monastery, Professor. He is a bow user. I'll take care of everything here. He doesn't even need to keep up. He just needs to shoot true. <laughs> Let's go and give our lost item to Bernie. So, so, even it's so... I've been looking. Nice. And I don't remember seeing Petra. Was Petra's not on the map right now, is she? Oh, yeah, she is. Oh, that's right. I did talk to her. Whoops. I had lost the place of it. Okay. I don't remember who the history of Srang is. Let's see. Moon Knight's tail needs to go to Ash. Where was he? No, really, where was he? <laughs> Did I pass him? Oh, there he is. Hey. I bet you he's recruitable now. We already tried asking him, so we can't ask him again. Okay. Um, let's eat, and then we will do some more of those supports. Hubert Linhart. Oh my gosh, we're doing really well, actually. Hubert and Linhart, for sure. What are the chances of a finding one that both of them like? Hubert's super picky, he doesn't show up very often. Crap. I don't... Okay, we don't have anything Hubert likes. Not a damn thing. Oh, Hubert. Wait, 
Wait, where is he? Hmm, maybe he... We can't eat with him this month. Maybe he's technically in the capital right now. Interesting. Okay. So he's not here. <laughs> so Lynn Hart and... Sure, Dorothea, why don't you just max that out? I think they still have some this supports they can favorite. do together, too. I think... And I think I'm going to do one with, uh, yeah, Edie and Lysithia, just for the supports. Oh, I love this meal. Eating. Okay, and before I keep going on with that, we're going to do a bunch of training. So, yep, let's go ahead and get some more faith. We're going to go to Catherine and get another sword. Really? Excuse me. Further, I... Maybe I should get my reason up some more. By the way, Catherine is a great unit to recruit in if you're in a uh, really house that you can recruit her in. Once we've, it will happen. She's awesome. What the? Okay. You don't do authority, I do you? She's the... Nah. You do, like, bow and lance, I think, Shamir does. Let's do some choir. Let's see. Lysithia. And Lynn. Mm, Lysithia and Dorothea. Singing with others is a nice change of pace. Usually I do it when I'm alone. I'll keep my voice down. Don't want people thinking I'm vying for attention. But how loud is too loud? Who learned physics? I've grasped it. How oh, lovely. cool. Great. That's fantastic. Okay. Okay, let's see. Were there any other really important ones that I wanted to work on? I can't work on Lysithia and Hanneman because I already ate with Lysithia and Edie. And that means I can't do Manuela and her either. So I don't know if I'm going to do any more of this. So let's see. Aloise, Shamir, Ferdinand... Ferdinand and Petra. Ferdinand, Petra, and Leone need to max out. I think I'll let Leone just Delicious. keep her 50 for now. After a... I would be... Okay. Now I've done everything else that I need to. So at this point, we are going to get these supports and then we're gonna go and talk to Edie. Hello there. Oh. Professor. Oh, cool. Sure. 
Catherine. Hmm. I wonder why. I'm sorry? Why does Lady Rhea give you special treatment? She You're likes not particularly me strong or good looking. You seem exceedingly <laughs> unremarkable. Ouch. Not that I doubt you were a skilled mercenary. And she's telling me this after I just, like, had a Super Saiyan moment? Shamir came from the same background, but she doesn't get nearly as much of Lady Rhea's attention. Besides, it'd be one thing if you got brought on as a knight, but a professorship, unprecedented. It is? I just don't get it. I'm flummoxed as to why she holds you in such high esteem. And it's not like just anyone can wield the Sword of the Creator. It's a legendary relic, right? And it was casually handed over to you. It's unbelievable. Maybe it's because you're related to Gerald. He was a leader of the Knights of Saros, and probably the finest mercenary in all Fodlin. I only had a brief chance to work with him, but I've heard stories. He was quite strong, right? Not as strong as people say. Oh, come on. There can't be a soul in Fodlin who hasn't heard tales of the Bladebreaker. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Geralt used his influence to help you. But Lady Rhea wouldn't give you favorable treatment because of that. No, definitely not. There must be something more to you. Okay, that settles it. I'm going to watch from afar. Figure out what Lady Rhea could possibly see in you. Whatever it is, maybe I can copy it so that you'll take a shine to me as well. And if I discover that your intentions are malicious, I'll cut you down with relish. <laughs> that face. Accurate. And she could probably do some damage too. She's a tough cookie. Professor. How are you doing, Professor? This is B, right? Would you right? care to join me for a cup of tea? Okay. It occurs to me that whenever we chat, I have a tendency to pester you with my questions and theories about your history. It seems only fair to speak on the topic of myself for once. And perhaps you might feel more positively inclined toward my research if I shared my own story. Sure, you have my attention. I am quite pleased to hear you're interested. Yes, quite pleased. Well, I suppose I should begin at the beginning, eh? I was born into a noble house of the Empire. Not a large house, mind you but noble all the same. Our land holdings were small, but our bloodline was quite strong. So, as you can imagine, there were many of us in the family who carried the power of crests. I myself bear a minor crest. Our family's abundance of crests may be part of the reason I've been interested in the topic since I was just a boy. I dedicated myself to my studies, and after years of effort, I became lead crest scholar at the Empire's largest research institution. So why come to Garrig Mach? I had only Imperial blood, and thus Imperial crests, at my disposal in the Empire. So I came to Garrig Mach and devoted myself to my research during my time as a professor. My progress is slow, but with each revelation, I move ever closer to the answers I have sought for decades. Your cooperation as the bearer of the Crest of Flames ensures my research will continue to advance. In fact, it may bring me ever closer to the goal of uncovering everything there is to know about Crests. I do hope you shall continue helping me advance in this field of study. Well, if you insist. Together, we will solve the mystery of your crest of flames, and our world will be the better for it. Shall we proceed? My lab instruments are fully prepared. 
I have a great number of tests I'm excited to carry out. No, no, don't worry. They won't hurt one bit. Okay. That should be it. Okay, at this point, we're going to save, and then we're going to go and talk to Edie. Okay, let's go, let's go. Um, which direction am I going? This way. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to talk to her, and then I'm going to cut to my first impression when I first talked to her the first time. Hey, Edie, how's it going? This is the important talk. Professor, will you join me? There's something I must do. It will take a few days, but I promise we'll be back in time for the ceremony at the Holy Tomb. Where are we going? It's meant to be a secret, but I'm going to Enbar, the Imperial capital. There is something I must do there. This decision will drastically change the story. I'll go with you. Are you certain about your decision? Yes. Thank you, my teacher. This Father, is new. Forgive me for asking this of you. I know how much pain you're in. How the burden of the throne weighs heavily on you. And so... There is no need to apologize, Edelgard. You must know... <laughs> that I do not have much time left in this world. The time has come. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Now, to complete the Imperial succession, you must relinquish your crown here in the throne room. Whoa. The Archbishop of the Church of Saros would normally act as witness, but my professor will fill that role instead. Edelgard. From this day forward, the weight of the Empire's future shall rest upon my shoulders. All that I do will be for the benefit of the people of Fodlan. Edelgard von Hesvelg. The crown is yours. By the covenant between the red blood and the white sword, and by the double-headed eagle upon your head, I hereby pronounce you the new emperor. Are you prepared to take those responsibilities as your own? In accordance with the ancient covenant, and in keeping with the Hrasfeld legacy, I swear that upon this throne, I shall use my reign to lead Fodlan to a new dawn and achieve peace for all. The Imperial succession is complete. <laughs> my daughter, I regret that I could not do more for you. When you were stolen away to the kingdom, when the Prime Minister did those horrible things, I could only watch in horror. The Prime Minister is Ferdinand's dad, right? He's the one who enacted all these horrible things on Ionis' children. Then the Council, Council of the Seven or something is what they're called, I think. I, I can't remember their name. They somehow took power away from Ionis, I believe. And that's when Edie's uncle took her to the Empire. Is that all correct? And he says that she was stolen away. Was Arundel part of the part of the council that betrayed Ionis? Or was he helping him? I'm, le I'm leaning on the side of helping because she seems to have a decent relationship with Arundel. But I could be totally wrong. But man, 
Emperor Ionis the Ninth does not look too hot. Gotta say. I... I understand, Father. In those dark times, your eyes and your fists were my salvation. Within your eyes, I saw true care. And upon your fists, clenched tight with indignity, I saw the blood that dripped and fell. Even as I bled, I felt that you too must also be bleeding. Your Majesty, you must not leave your sleeping chambers in your condition. Ah, Edelgard. I did not expect to find your highness here. This is Ferdinand's dad? Oh, I hate him. I hate him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the voice, the look, the mannerisms. Oh, he's gross. Ferdinand, your dad's gross. <laughs> what a bastard. This is the guy who did these awful things to you? Man, how did he accomplish that? He doesn't look like he'd be able to accomplish much. Ah. Oh. oh, man. Okay. Prime Minister, you have misspoken. I am no longer your highness, but rather your majesty. I impossible! <laughs> it is true. Edelgard is the new emperor of the Atrestian Empire. This guy's got a good voice. We will summon the officials. <coughs> And prepare an ordinance at once, and you, Prime Minister, are dismissed. <laughs> it will be some time before you are allowed to make contact with the outside oh, world again. Oh, damn. No. How can this be? I... <clears throat> understood. Your Majesty. So is she putting him in jail, or is she exiling him? That sounded like jail. I leave the fate of Fodlin <laughs> in your capable hands. Father. Thank you for staying by my side, Professor. Now that I'm the Emperor, it's time to grasp my destiny. After the ceremony at the Holy Tomb, I must return to Enbar. This may be the last we see of each other. We are out of time, my teacher. Everyone is waiting for us. We must go. 